What up, Internet? My name is Ace Rivera. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk about how I ended up moving my entire life out to Japan five and a half years ago. So, how did I end up out here in Tokyo, Japan? How did I even get interested in moving out to Tokyo, Japan? When I was seven years old, I was a candy fiend. I loved, loved, loved chocolate and gummy bears and all types of different American candies. And during that time, I had gone to a private school for one year. And during that one year, I had a Japanese teacher who would come to my class once a week and tell us all about uh, Japanese culture and teach us Japanese. Now, this guy was not really that interesting. You know, I when I first would see him come in, I was just like, oh man, like who's this Asian guy? I, I, don't, I don't really understand. This is this is kind of boring. You know, let's let's get back into like fun stuff like recess. But uh, if we did well in class, he would always give us a reward, which was these like Japanese gummy candies, and they would come in these like little packages and. It was just the sweetest thing that I had ever tasted. So I was like, oh man, like, he's just got to keep giving us some more candy. But like, okay, you know what? I'll try participating more. If he's just going to give us more candy, like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a wrap. We're going to like, just have and collect so much candy. So through that one year, I got to learn a lot about Japan. And as a kid, I really, really, really loved trains. I loved Power Rangers, I loved my Nintendo Game Boy, you know, the, the brick Game Boy. Um, I loved the Super Nintendo, I loved watching, you know, I loved watching movies, and, you know, movies on the VCR. You know, this is the uh, late 90s at the time. So, all these things he had taught me had come from Japan. So, a kid from Brooklyn, New York, you know, thinking about Japan, it seemed like so far away, but this guy, he, he made it so that, you know, Japan was just this really cool place that was just really, really far away and that I could visit one day. Uh, so with that inkling, with that, with that idea that, okay, Japan is cool, but it also has this really great candy, I just took off and really, really enjoyed a lot of different things that came from Japan. So like most millennials, you know, the, that were into, you know, geek culture, everybody gets into anime and video games. Um, in high school, I was like absolutely obsessed with like studying uh, World War II history, and, you know, understanding like how Japan got into, into the war and, you know, what made the, the United States, uh, you know, end the war. And then in high school, I tried to uh, study abroad over the summer doing a uh, exchange program. Now, I just did not have my stuff together. I was, I just wasn't ready for it. I was scared. I was just really scared of failure. I had no experience uh, eating Japanese food before. So I really let that opportunity go. Actually, there were two opportunities for me to go to Japan. Uh, during my junior year of high school. So that just slipped away. Then when I was in college, uh, in my junior year of college, I applied and I got accepted to this program that let me study abroad in Kyushu of Japan, which is a like the southern, the southwestern portion of Japan. It's not on the main island. So I got accepted to this program. I was really excited. I you know spent all of this money and I had to you know leave my uh, leave my university in December and start in April of that next year. So I had like maybe a three month hiatus where I was just like kind of staying at home. Now the planned semester actually the the week before I was supposed to fly out to Japan was the great earthquake of uh, Tohoku, of you know, the Sendai earthquake and the nuclear disaster over at Fukushima. And so when that happened, my entire study abroad opportunity just got washed away. Um, and 
I was just in a really, really bad place. I, I became extremely depressed that I could not go to Japan where all my life I really wanted to go to this place. I had so many hopes and dreams and I spent all of this money and there were so many loopholes in trying to get the money back. And you know, then there was this earthquake and this national, you know, this nuclear disaster that happened. And there was just absolutely no way for any foreigners to come into the country because they had closed the borders. Now, this was actually a blessing in disguise. You know, I did not have, uh, I did not lose any family members. My house didn't get washed away. Uh, you know, I knew no one from Japan at that at that point in time. So, you know, the only thing that I really lost was some money and some time of my life that you know, maybe I would have done well during that semester. Maybe I wouldn't have. But it really lit a fire under my butt that I wanted to really go to Japan. So I went back to school. Um, I graduated a semester late, but that's okay. I got a job at a different university, and during that time, I studied Japanese when I was not working at that university. So I decided to go to a Japanese language school in New York City, uh, and then I applied for the JET program, which, if you guys don't know, the JET program is a teaching, it's an English teaching program where they send people from different English native countries out to Japan in random areas to teach English to children, to teach English in elementary school, middle school, or high school, as well as do some other cultural activities in whatever area of Japan that you get assigned to. So I applied to this program because uh, when I thought about you know, the, the origins of uh, Japan and what I really enjoyed, that had to do with this teacher that I had, Yuki Sensei, who had come and given us candy and during that same time I, and that I was really studying Japanese and, and trying to learn the language I just fell in love with Japanese candy again so stuff like pude, um, you know, kaju gumi, so many different types of, of gummy candy, candy that really sparked this great interest into okay you can do this you can go to Japan you can move out there just you know, try and apply to any program that'll get you out there. And lo and behold, I got into the JET program and they sent me out to Tokyo. So that's my story. It, it's a little bit longer for the, for the real thing, um, but I just wanted to uh, kind of fill in some gaps just so that you guys know a little bit more about me. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.